Today we have another viewer suggested integral, so thank you so much. And I have not tried this at all, so hopefully it's not cooked. Let's just get straight into it. We're going to let u equal inverse tan x. That's pretty obvious because the differential element will be 1 on 1 plus x squared dx. And let's see, so we can replace this with u. And since u is tan inverse x, x is going to be tan u. So this at the bottom will be tan squared u. And then this 1 on 1 plus x squared dx will just become du. And the bounds, well, the bottom bound will be tan inverse 0, which is just 0. And the top bound was tan inverse infinity, which would be pi on 2. Okay, so now um, we could write this as u squared times cot squared, probably. Yeah, let's do that. And then cot squared is just cosec squared minus 1. Okay, so we can split up the integral like this. And now we know how to integrate u squared. That would just be u cubed on 3. And we're subbing in pi on 2. That would just give pi on 2 cubed on 3, pi cubed on 24. Okay. Now to deal with this, uh, I guess we have to do integration by parts. Okay, so we're going to integrate the cosec squared u, and then we're going to differentiate the u squared. Okay, so we have this. Now let's just see what happens when we substitute in pi on 2 and 0 here. Well, cot pi on 2 is 0, and when we sub in 0, we get cot 0 times 0, and cot 0 is cot 0 on sine 0, so you might think that doesn't work. But the limit is probably just going to be 0. I'll let you guys do that yourself. It would just be the sine u on u limit somewhere. Okay, anyway. So then, now we just have 2 times the integral. Oh, wait. Wait a minute. This is the... Oh, wow. Okay, so I'll actually just go through the integration by parts here. So we're going to keep the cot u okay so if we integrate cot u we get log sine okay so we're going to do integrate one leave one minus the integral of uh, the integral times the derivative of u we sub in pi on two into here we'll get log sine pi on two which will be log of one which is zero and when we sub in zero uh, we're probably also just going to get zero by L'Hopital's rule somewhere so yeah, I, I'm kind of just skipping the steps because I don't want to evaluate limits today. But now this is the log sine integral. I was not expecting to have to quote this again. The integral from 0 to pi on 2 of log sine is minus pi on 2 ln 2. And as you can see, these minus signs cancel and the 2s cancel. And okay, that's, that's actually way too cool. The integral from 0 to infinity of uh, inverse tan x squared over x squared 1 plus x squared is pi log 2 minus pi cubed on 24. Okay, that's way too cool. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.